Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today I have an exciting project that will bring the beauty of the ocean right into your home. We're going to craft a stunning DIY ocean wreath that captures the essence of the beautiful sea. Whether you're a beach lover, an ocean enthusiast, or simply looking to add a touch of coastal charm to your decor, this wreath is the perfect project for you. Gather your supplies and let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today, we're going to be doing a really fun ocean inspired wreath. And I found this really cute sign from the Dollar Tree that we're going to use in our design today. And you'll also need a 14 inch wire wreath frame. This is also from the Dollar Tree. Some pipe cleaners. I have one roll of this poly mesh and this is from the craft outlet, 10 by 10 yards and some ribbon of your choice. You're gonna need two ribbons that are two and a half inches and two that are one and a half. And these are the ones that I have picked. So we're gonna turn our wreath frame into a working wreath form and we're going to add our own pipe cleaners and we have four bars i always name them from the outside going in one two three four and we have six sections for this design we're going to be adding a pipe cleaner on the outer and the inner crossbars as well as around the one and two in the middle of these crossbars. So we're going to start by putting our pipe cleaner under the one and the two and that crossbar right there. Going to make sure they're nice and even your pipe cleaners and we'll give that a good couple twist leaving it right there in the, the center the twist part in the center and now we're coming under the three and the four and the crossbar and we're making sure they're nice and even and we're giving this one a good twist as well. So we're doing the two crossbars for each section and then we're going right in the middle of the section which is right here and we're going to come under the one and the two and this is going to be our third pipe cleaner here and we give it a couple twists and see how the twists were like right in the center here let's do one more section together we're coming under the one and two and underneath that crossbar making sure our pipe cleaners nice and even and a good couple twists we're coming under at an angle here under that crossbar the three and the four and the same thing making them nice and even and giving it a good couple twists and then the last one we're coming in the middle of the crossbars under that one and that two right there All right, so I'm gonna go around and get this, the rest of these prepped. So this is what your wreath frame should look like. We have six on the inner and we connected them around the three and the four and we have 12 on the outside, all at the cross brackets under the one and the two and right in the middle of each section. So we have our working wreath frame that we're ready to use now. And next we're going to go ahead and prep our mesh. I have this deco poly mesh that I got from Craft Outlet. It's 10 by 10 yards. You can cut it with some scissors you can use your rotary cutter, or you can also use a wood burning tool. And we want to cut these into 20 inch strips. I have all my 
my mesh cut at 20 inches and it gave me 18 pieces for one roll of that 10 by 10 deco poly mesh. And I like to have a basket off to the side that I can just drop my rolls in and give myself some extra working space. So now we're going to prep our ribbon and you want two ribbons at the two and a half inches and you want two others at the one and a half and you want just kind of pick ones that you think will complement each other. What we're going to do is we're cutting in 12 inches. So 12 inches is the middle of your, the outside edges of your square here. And a little trick, if you haven't seen me do this in my other videos, you do a little accordion fold. And this, what this allows you to do is cut your ribbon and fishtail or dovetail, however you like to call it, at the same time. So we're going to cut our six pieces here. There's five. And we're staying at the 12 inches accordion fold here, band fold. And there's six. And this is where some heavy duty scissors come in handy. I will leave the link in the supply list as well as the description box. You'll find my Amazon store where I have these linked. My favorite crafting scissors, hands down, they're heavy duty and they really do the job, especially when it comes through cutting thicker ribbon with the wire in it. So now we're going to fold our ribbon in half and we're going to cut at an angle from those open ends right here at a slight angle and see how that not only cut my ribbon but also dovetailed it at the same time. So we're going through each little section here and this is a huge time saver instead of trying to cut each ribbon individually and dovetail individually. So there's one side done already. And now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Look how those scissors just slice through it like nothing. And our last one here. And now we should have six. So just a little trick. If you've never seen that before, it's just a great time saver. And I have this nautical beach print that's going to go with my burlap ribbon and I have this that's going to go with my sea foam. So for this next step I'm going to be using my Bodabra and I do have the link to my Amazon store in the description box where you will find this and my lovely crafting scissors and all my favorite crafting supplies there. You don't need a bow maker you can use a chip clip for this next step if you don't have a bow maker but i like to use this it just makes it so much easier and it's a little more hands free and easier on the hands to hold things so we're going to get started and we are going to make our cruffles so we're going to start building our cruffle bundles here and you will need a chip clip and I use my scissors to weight one side and we place it curl side up and we go ahead and tuck the end in and we want to do at least two curls and then I place my chip clip while I flip it around to the other side two to three whatever you want there's one two do that again one two and now we have this big space in the middle and this is where we pinch and grab to the other side where we get our ruffle part so we have the two curled rolls and the ruffle in the center and this is a cruffle there's always a flat side at the bottom and you want to lay it in your bow maker flat side down okay and then we're going to take one set of our ribbons 
and we're going to pinch and grab in the center and place it, we're going to do a crisscross. Same thing, pinch and grab and another crisscross. And this is going to be our first cruffle that we are going to attach in our wire wreath frame. So now we're going to take our cruffle bundle out. We're going to add it into one in the center of one of our sets of Chanel stems or pipe cleaners. You could start on the outside or the inside. I'm gonna be starting on the inside ring. So we take out our bundle here from our Bodabra and we wanna place it so it's lengthwise going along the wreath frame. We don't want it like this. We put it in like this and then it's going to really give us that coverage, that that nice full coverage. So we're going to place it in the center of the pipe cleaners and give it a couple really tight twists. Just keep twisting it about a half an inch or so and we'll go ahead and clip that off and bend it I like to go in half and then in half towards the center of our design. So we've just placed our first cruffle and we can just get our ribbon kind of lifting up towards the top there. And that is what we have so far. Our very first cruffle inside our wreath frame. So now we're going to do the cruffle the same, except we'll be alternating our different ribbon combinations here. So the next one, let's do another one together. We're going to take our 20 inch piece, curl side up. We're gonna tuck that end in and do a couple rolls there. Use our chip clip, flip it around. Same thing. And we're going to ruffle, pinch and grab to the other side. And laying it in our bow maker. Flat side down. And then we have those beautiful little curls. And we'll take our next set of ribbon which is this beautiful sea foam and my favorite, this is my favorite ribbon. I just love it. We're going to, you can always, if you want, put your ribbon in half and bend it like that. And then you have the line that you know is the center and you can pinch and grab right down the center, placing it in a crisscross fashion here. And the same thing, we can do that same thing. Pinching and grabbing and doing another crisscross. And now we're going to grab our cruffle out of our bow maker. And we're going to the next spot right next to it and placing it right in that center, giving it a good couple tight twists and then twisting it up about a half an inch or so. And then you can use your wire clippers or your scissors cutting that and I like to bend it in half and then in half towards the center of the frame. So now we have our second bundle placed right there next to the other one. And as we go around, they're going to just kind of hold each other up and get nice and full. Look how pretty that looks so far. So I'm going to keep moving along, alternating my bundles here with the different sets of ribbon. So we have four of our bundles on here and we're alternating our different ribbon patterns. And look at how pretty 
those colors are together. It's just going to be so full and gorgeous when we're finished here. Let's keep moving along here with our cruffle bundles. So now we've made our cruffle bundles. We've made all six of them around that inside ring. And now we're going to continue that same pattern going around the outside, continuing with alternating our different ribbon bundles. And as you're placing your bundles in, just the one that's next to it, just kind of lift the side up and then that way they all just kind of push each other up, making that nice full look. And we've added all of those bundles and look at our beautiful wreath base that we have right now. And we're going to add a sign, possibly a bow, and um, just play around a little bit with this design. This design looks gorgeous just like it is. You don't have to add anything. I always like to give you options. Um, it really, it's just gorgeous, stands alone. But we're going to add our cute little sign that we have and see where this the rest of this wreath takes us. So now I have two pipe cleaners and two pieces of felt scraps and we're going to make a hanger for this. And I don't, I want this just to still float like it is. So I'm gonna secure it up here and we're just gonna bend our pipe cleaners in half and just make a little hanger get my silicone fingertips so I don't burn myself and we're just going to add some hot glue put our pipe cleaner in it and put our felt scrap right there over the top and that's going to give it some extra reinforcement So we have our pipe cleaners on our sign. We're gonna bend those back and we're going to find the right attachment. I want this to dangle there, so I wanna go a little bit higher and I'm going to do this one in the center. And I'm gonna flip it over. You just place it about where you want it. Flip it over and then you could take your pipe cleaners that are attached to the sign and we'll give a couple twists until we make sure that that's where we want it. We're twisting those right around that first bar that we see. And let's get that ribbon towards the front so we can see all that gorgeous ribbon. Let's flip it over and make sure that we like it before we attach it for good. Now. hold it up so I want to go a little higher with my sign so I'm going to undo those and try to go up to one of these other bars to pull that up towards the top a little bit more I'm going to go to this first bar this first bar and then we can tighten it up as well let me turn it around we don't tighten them right away until we make sure oh yeah I like that placement that's gonna be a good placement okay so we have this kind of dangling right there we have the boat up 
towards the top there. So now I'm gonna flip it around and secure that down for good. Okay, so I like that placement and I'm going to go a little bit looser on these because I don't want to do it too tight. I want that sign floating on the top. So let me loosen those up. And let me make sure I like that before we fix those for good. Oh yeah, that's much better. And when it's hanging, this is dangling in the spot that I want. Once you get your sign the way you want it, you're just going to twist those pipe cleaners. And just like we did with the ribbon bundles, we're gonna bend it in half and bend it back towards the design. And sometimes it just takes a little while to play around with your sign to make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. Flip it over and this is what we have so far. And that sign dangles when it's hanging the way I like it. So now what we're gonna do is add a few finishing embellishments to our design here and you can fluff your ribbon up and Look how pretty that is with that ribbon. Isn't this ribbon to die for? I just love that ribbon. I mean, it has literally been one of my favorite ribbons for a very long time. So now we're going to play around with some embellishments. You can leave it like this. It looks beautiful just like this. Or we can go ahead and add some different finishing touches. And I, I just have a few different flowers. I went over in my flower stash and I, I've had these for a while and I think they're so pretty and it looks like, like coral to me or some sort of flower that would be under the ocean. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to use anything that reminds me of the ocean. I'm going to take off these and I'll use those. I think these are super pretty. Um, so I'm just going to take these flowers off because we're going to hot glue just have some fun and hot glue some different embellishments in there and this is fun too i've had this and i think that would be really pretty definitely looks looks oceany so i'm going to cut off some pieces of some different things and look at that that's fun too i might use some of that and we're going to hot glue um, some different things into our wreath. And you're gonna have fun. You could do whatever you want, place them wherever you want. But I always like just to kind of generally get a placement, put my stuff in first. If you see any like wreath frame poking through, it's a great time to add something. See, we're just gonna do something like that. And then we'll just like, throw out some, put some greenery, maybe add some, some of this kind of stuff, you know, like that. We're just going to have fun and play around with some different stuff. This stuff is really fun because then you got the greenery on it too. And we can go around and just kind of pop it out of our design here and there. So let me have some fun with some embellishments, figure out where I want to place everything and then we're simply going to hot glue them where we want them and I also have some of this this is kind of fun I think that's a juniper but that just looks so oceany so you can also add some shells if you want you can feel free to put some of those in there and if you're gonna do that, I would do just like we prepped the sign with a pipe cleaner and a felt, and then use that to tie it to the wreath frame. So I think I'm gonna just stick with these little flowers and even add them like in the middle of your ribbon bundles too. They look pretty like that. Um, so I'm gonna add a few things and we're going to come back and wrap up this design. All right, so I had a lot of fun with all these fun embellishments here, and I got my general design together. And now what I'm simply going to do is hot, go around and hot glue everything in the way I want it. So just gonna take a little time 
and just hot glue all my little embellishments here. And I finished hot gluing all those embellishments and I just love how this turned out with those beautiful sea foam colors and I hope you had fun crafting with me today and in the description box down below you will find the link to my Amazon store where I list all my favorite crafting supplies that I use in my tutorials I will have this wreath listed in my Etsy shop and I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel, ring that bell. You'll get notifications when my future tutorials are released. And if you please leave me a comment, it really helps me. And with YouTube pushing my content out to more people. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.